Like it's shown to you, it's proved to you. God yeah. says, I'm gonna show you. Let right, me right. follow that. Let, I'm gonna blow your mind right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he does every time. Yeah. And I'm just like, I could have never, ever done that by myself. So tell us, like, you know, I mean, what did, what did God start doing in your life? And I think you want to share a few things, maybe yeah. in particular. But what did God start, like, just the real things that, like, practical things that God actually started doing in your life. Yeah. And obviously it doesn't happen overnight. No. But, but God yeah. moved in your life in a real way. Yes. Um, so share, share some of that story, some of that journey. Yeah. So um, prior to going to church, I was just having a really hard time. I had different types of addictions, you know. Um, People think it always has to be like drug, alcohol kind of thing. And, sure. But no, there's a ton of different types of yeah. addictions. You know, dependency. You can exactly. be dependent on anything. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. You know, or even just not having um, like in that low self-esteem. You know, when you, I've never been one to have low self-esteem, but in that particular time, I, I mean, I, I, for me, would hit rock bottom, and so I started relying on other things that became those addictions to me. Because I was trying to fill it, fill that hole, that God hole, you yeah, know, that yeah. only God can fill right, yeah. um, with other things. So when I started going to, um, so God removed me from the situation I was at. He placed me in his presence and I was like, I don't ever want to go away from this again. Yeah. Um, and that's a little bit, probably a couple months down the road, I decided to be baptized in Jesus' name. Yeah, right. And I'm like, I want a whole new life. I yeah. want a whole new, you know, there are things that I did that I'm not proud of, I'm ashamed of, and I know that was wrong. And, you know, and I just, God, please forgive me. And that's when he put it in my heart to be baptized in Jesus' name. But I knew I was going to end up receiving this freedom, this um, whole new life, you yeah. know, this, I could forget the things that were in the past. I can start living for God and what he always called me to be and to become um, just always, you know. I was a person that God didn't want me to be. Right. And when I was baptized in his name, he said, you know, just, I will guide you. I will yeah. guide you to be who you are meant to be. So, um, and I mean, little by little, those addictions started to fall off. Yeah. You know, well, a lot of people think cost. like it's, it's like it's overnight, you know. Yeah, like, no. Oh man, God just did it. And yeah, like it the, the forgiveness is instant, right? right. The, the mercy and grace is applied and mm -hmm. like you know, the blood of Jesus, what we understand that like he shed his blood for us at Calvary. Like that's applied to our life in an instant, in a moment of that faith. But you know, the the process of letting go of addictions, the process yeah. of recovery from different things, that, that can take a while, you know. Yeah. And, um, and God started doing it one by one, oh, step yeah. by step, you know. And it was incredible. Like it's, you know, it's like it's shown to you. It's proved to you. God yeah. says, "I'm gonna show you." Let right, me let right. follow that. Let, I'm gonna blow your mind right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and He does every time. Yeah. And I'm just like, I could have never ever done that by myself. Yeah. Like I needed, him. I wow. needed him so much, and I need him now today. And there's still things. Struggles are always gonna come. Things are always going to hit you and try to knock you down and God just holds you and if you're always looking towards him I mean you just get back up again and right. he gives you that strength you know right. and he gave me that strength when um, I was baptized and he gave me that power when he filled me with his Holy Spirit yeah. you know and I mean since then I just call upon his name and he's always there yeah never leaves me yeah. I'll never forget this Sunday um, that that you received the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, it wasn't it wasn't any big, grand, mm -hmm. like special service. Uh, we didn't have a guest speaker. I think no. I preached that Sunday. Yeah. Um, I don't think there was anything like out of the ordinary. It was just a normal Sunday. Yeah. And I remember praying with Evelyn and she was just was had so her hands raised yeah. and praying and just eyes closed, tears coming down. And then you just what what happened? What happened next? I'm like speechless. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to keep going? Keep yeah, going yeah. Okay, I was there. I was there. You know, and uh, I think there may have been one or two other person, people around her, uh, praying with her, and she just had her hands up, just just praying normal, like God, I love you, I thank you for your goodness, Lord, thank you for restoring, you know, just normal prayers, and she just began to speak in other tongues, mm -hmm. and it was like, it wasn't like, whoa, what was that? And she stopped. It was just like it just came out. Yeah, like, it just came out. It just. It was the for a while. Yeah, it was, cool. it was the crazy like yeah. 
And I and I afterwards I was like, did that just happen? What was that? I yeah. was so hungry afterwards yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, because we talk about it. Yeah. Like this is a church that we, you know, that's in the Bible and we believe it. We believe mm -hmm. it's for us. Uh, you know, Peter said this promise is to all that are far off. You know, so um, we we experience that and um, you know we talk about it. She read it. Yeah. We talked about it in Bible studies yeah. and then experiencing it. Yes. It's like a whole nother thing. Right? It was a whole nother thing because and you you read it. Yeah, it says it's for everyone. And when you think about it, it's like, oh, maybe it's not for me, yeah. you know. But I wanted it so bad. I wanted, I wanted it from God so bad, yeah. you know. And when I lifted up my hands, and it just came out like it, my heart was racing, you know. I there was just something that literally I felt it come inside of me, and then right. just the words just came right out. Yeah. And I, you know, weeks afterwards, I was like, was that real? Is that something that really happened? Sure. We would yeah. talk about it yeah. a lot. Yeah. Um, and I said, God, just show me again, like, you know, please, because my things are entering my mind that, you know. Seeds of doubt. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And and he did, and he showed me again. Yeah. And now, like, I just know, like, nope, that's, that's, yeah. that's. And there's a, remember Austin? There's another yeah. young man that around the same time had a similar experience. Yeah. He's driving home from work and just praying, and he's like, just praying, worshiping some music maybe going on, and started, started speaking in tongues for the first time. And then, you know, he told me that, and he's like, ah, you know, I don't know if that was real, like, if it was just me or emotion, or if I just couldn't, like, form the words. I was like, no, man, that's the Holy Spirit. It's real, you yes. know? And then, and then he's like, okay, God, if that's real, prove it again. And then the next Sunday, he was at church, boom, you know, same experience happened. So, yeah. yeah, it was incredible. That's awesome. It's incredible. That's and awesome. I love seeing people that get, like, are filled with the Holy Spirit for the first time. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, yes. Because, yeah. and you just become joyful. You're like, oh, you're part of the family. You right, know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. it's just, it's incredible. I yeah. love seeing that, you know. And seeing um, my son especially see that on me, um, you know, I'll be speaking in tongues and he'll he'll come after after Coast Church or after kids, um, Oh my gosh, he'll Coast, come. Kids. Coast kids, thank yeah, yeah. you. Kids. <laughs> he'll come and he'll put his hand on me and he knows what's happening. Yeah. Like he understands. Yeah. And I love that because um It's pretty special. Exactly, yeah. you know, and he knows and he asks questions and you know, I'm able to give him like help him understand what it means. Right, and, oh, right. Yeah. So, it's pretty amazing. It's a beautiful gift. It's, it's pretty amazing. Gift. Yeah. Um I think that man, this has been so good, <laughs> so helpful for for anybody watching. I, so. I think I think this is uh, encouraging. Um, you know, you're you're a young single mom. Mm -hmm. um, you you work hard. Um, you know, you help out at, at home, and you know, with dad that has some some extra needs. And uh, you know, single moms out there. I mean, what what would you encourage? So I grew up with single moms, so I have a soft heart for single moms. Uh, but what what would you do to say to just encourage those? Uh, single moms that are maybe maybe looking to find faith, yeah. maybe not feeling any purpose, maybe kind of like, what is this all about? Okay, I'm stuck with these kids or whatever. Yeah. You know, like you kind of don't. I, I can see a lot that were wouldn't have any feeling like you have any purpose. You know, yeah. um, what, what would you say to encourage some single moms that are struggling, trying to find purpose right now? Um, share share something as we close this out. I would definitely say first, um, you're stronger than you think. Like you're a lot stronger than you think. Um, your child is looking up to you, not just as a mom, but as a dad too. Yeah. And that father is there, and you know, is Jesus. He's there. Yeah. He's never left you. He's always on your side. When you feel like you can't do something, he, go go to him for strength. He's he gave me strength through so many, so many obstacles, so many challenges with my son, so many challenges I'm going through now. Um, and I don't, I don't have to fear because I know that God's there. So if you're looking to get back into faith, or if you're looking for God, um, you know, go to a place that has His Word, that preaches His Word. Um, but pray, like just as a regular conversation, pray. You know, go down on your knees and say, God, I give up. Like I, I don't know what to do. He's going to take care of all of it. Yeah. He's going to handle all of it, and you're going to wonder what your life was like before God, because all that is not going to matter anymore. Yeah. You know, what he has in store for you, the purpose that he has for you, um, is so much greater than you ever thought. And you will be touching so many lives and reaching so many people that are in your, are in your position too, that you never thought that you'd be talking so to good. like, like this, I never yeah. thought I'd be doing this. Yeah, you know right, I mean? right, yeah. <laughs> never, like, I didn't think that I'd be, you know, 
going to church. I, I was looking for God, but, you know, I, I just... When you kind of discover your purpose, you're like, why did I wait so long? Right. Like, what was I thinking? Why did I you know wait? I mean? yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Or why did yeah. I fight so much yeah. to be away from him? Right. You know, right. Yeah. why did I fight so much to want to do things that I wanted to do? Like, he so has good. a purpose, and his purpose is always the best, so you know? Good. Yeah. So. Well, thanks for sharing. Yeah. Uh, this has been great. <laughs> really appreciate it. I hope it blesses somebody's life. Uh, you got any questions, comments, make, make sure and uh, get, in, get in touch with us. Um, thank you. Put thank you, Evelyn, for, for sharing today, and we'll uh, we'll close with a coronavirus uh, fist bump, and uh, <laughs> then we'll go wash our hands for 20 seconds, and, and we're gonna have a great week. Yes, um, thank you, in, Lord. in quarantine here. So, all right, God bless all of you. Thank you.